Oh, oh no. You don't want to do that. <gasps> yes, she does. That ruffle skirt looks so fetch. <laughs> Are you demented? That skirt was like two sizes too small. Do you mind? We're trying to break last month's sales record. So wrong. What's your damage, Nikki? You're supposed to be selling. Just look what she's wearing. Ugh. <laughs> They're breeding. Oh, do you know what outfit would be so great on you? The wide leg crop pants with the lavender tank? <gasps> you must have, like, ESPN. <laughs> I'm here to drop off my resume. I'm Kirsten. This is Kristen, and that's Chrissy. Hi. 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 Oh my gosh, those are such cute capris, Kristen. Oh no, I love your skirt. Me too. Chrissy, don't you just love Ashley's skirt? It's so totally cute. Way off the cute meter We love meeting people just like us. You're like exactly like us. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Don't you? Oh, I know. She has like 10 cows a week. Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends. We like to be together in a place where we belong. I'm 16, starting to find my way. Job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet When you're growing up so fast You gotta make the good times last I'm 16, 16 There's a fourth clone hanging out at the barn now. And to top it off, the low slung denim capris just came in. Yuck. Ooh, are they dark wash or vintage? Good morning, princess. Uh. Yo, what's up? Hey, what's with the bag? Chocolate covered jelly beans. And you guys all have to buy some. Uh-uh, sounds nasty. It's team fundraising week. Whoever raises the most money wins new equipment. I've already picked out my snowboard. New equipment, huh? Fine, I'll take one. Mmm, these are disgusting. What's going on here, punks? Chocolate-covered jelly beans? Would you like to buy some to support my snowboarding team? Do they come in a yellow and red striped box with black writing? I don't believe it. Those are the beans I had in my boyhood days. What's he doing? Mm. Hmm. I'll take two boxes. But let's be clear about one thing. I'm not supporting your little cause. Uh, okay. And don't think I don't know what you're up to, maggots. Mm. Hello, Nikki. Oh, what's up, Yoda? You're looking ravishing today. I thought we've been over this. Give up hope? A Jedi never does. But here to see you, I am not. She likes me. Can't get enough of the, uh, dark side, if you know what I mean. That's great, Darth. Listen, I've got folding to do. I'll be browsing women's knits. Hmm. <gasps> Darth and Chrissy, what do we have here? I told you never to come here. How else was I supposed to know how to get to your house? Her house? Shh! If anyone ever finds out I'm a member of the Jedi Knight Club, I'll die of embarrassment. Afraid of your Jedi heritage? You should not be. 
Whoa! <gasps> Oops. Hi. Uh, I'm just looking for the, uh, the new vintage wash. Oh, who am I kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, Nikki. If you ever tell anyone about this, you're so fired. Okay. 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 Mm, I promise. <laughs> you got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> the Jedi nightclub? Chrissy? <laughs> I know. I, I think this is the best day of my life. So are you going to send out an email to the whole school or save it for the morning announcements? Trust me. I wish I could do both. But I need this job, so do not say anything. I mean it, Jonesy. I understand. You can't annoy the boss, man. Gotta make the cheese. The cheddar. The mozzarella. Okay, we've got the point. <clears throat> Which is why, as of today, I'm selling the world's first environmentally friendly plastic wrap on behalf of our school's senior hockey team. Nikki, didn't you say you needed a box? No. Oh, because I thought I heard Chrissy telling me that you did. Or was she telling her Jedi friends? Extortionist. Thank you. Wait a minute. Oh, no, you don't. You cannot be competing for the grand prize. I'm going to enjoy all that new hockey equipment. Oh, no, you're not, because I'm going to win. That sounds like a bet. Oh, it's a bet, all right. I bet that I'll blow you away. You're on. Oh, here we go. I'm here for the jelly beans. No selling <gasps> on the job, Masterson, except, of course, to me. Now drop and give me 20. Oh. Big squeeze, 11 o'clock. No! Mm. Aha! Jelly beans. <laughs> and this is where we keep the refund slips and the credit notes. Oh, I so wish we could hire you. She doesn't do anything around here. She's got a point. Yo, Chrissy, want to buy some plastic wrap? Why would I want to do that? Because you want to look like this. Ugh. <laughs> 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 uh. Laugh if you want, but cellophane's the new cashmere. It's sheer, sexy, and doesn't breathe, so you sweat off those extra pounds. Really? Yep. Lindsay Lohanigan wore cellophane to the V8 One Fashion Awards. It's hot. I'll take two. <laughs> I'm going to make a plastic wrap poncho. Oh, my gosh. Me, too. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's also great for protecting things of value, like your vintage original issue lightsaber replica. <gasps> A light what -ica? Nothing. Forget I said anything. Chrissy is not in Darth's Jedi nightclub. <gasps> oh. You're in a Star Wars club? Nikki! Jolty! Oops. You promised you'd keep your big mouth shut! Oh, come on, Chrissy. It's just Jonesy. I'll, I'll tell you a ton of his embarrassing secrets. I heard that. Nikki! You backstabbing, non-khaki barn-wearing, pain-in-my-butt jerk! Y you're fired! <gasps> <gasps> Ashley, you're hired. <laughs> Nikki out for plastic wrap? It was an accident. Well, your little accident means I have to find a new job. Don't worry. If Jonesy can find a new job each week, so can you. Hmm. Okay. You'll have to wear the taco hat and learn the Wonder Taco anthem, you know. Feel it hungry, have no fear. Wonder Taco is always near. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Whoa. Okay, Wong. What? Tell me why I should hire you if you can't even return a pansy little lob. We just got these in pink khakis. Uh. Ugh. Well, I've never actually, you know, done a tattoo before, but I can learn on the job, right? <sighs> Dude, check it out. I was talking to this sweet babe, and she said she thinks you're cute. Really? Who is she? I didn't get her name, but I met her at the food court. 
She eats a lot of chicken. I told her to drop by. Here she comes now. Ah! There's Lydia! How'd you know her name? Freaky Lydia, the one who stalked Jonesy. Ring a bell? Hi, Jude. I'm here to see Wyatt. Um, Wyatt and Jude aren't here right now. Oh, okay. Do you know when they'll be back? Uh... Hi, Wyatt. I don't want to burst your bubble, honey, but I'm Wayne. I'm Lydia. I'm here for our date. Look, I brought chicken nuggets. Sweet. Lydia thought Wayne was you, dude. I don't know how, but I'm not complaining. Psst. <gasps> Over here. You got the stuff. You got the cash. Give it to me. Give it to me now. <gasps> 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 What do I owe this pleasure? I need a job. You start now. Here's your uniform. Drop dead. <sighs> the power of the force is strong with this one. <sighs> Hi, Darth. <sighs> oh, this is the end. No. Only the beginning, it is. Oh. Oh, Darth is way worse than the clones. What was I thinking? Oh, I'm less employable than Jonesy. Come on, guys. Darth isn't so bad. Easy for you to say. He doesn't have a crush on you. If you don't want Darth crushing on you, all we need to do is find someone else for him to like. You know, that's not a bad idea. And I know just the girl. What are you doing with our sworn enemy? A sale's a sale, Jonesy. And I just unloaded a 12-pack. Well, you might as well quit now. I was born to sell. Besides, I've got much better people skills, and I'm better looking than you. Oh, that is it. It is so on. Bring it, baby. Get your chocolate-covered jelly beans here. Yeah, if you want diarrhea. Looking for something that's actually useful? Buy my cellophane wrap. It's cheap, and it leaks. Good afternoon, ma'am. Support our high school snowboard team? Her candy's made from car wax. Hmm. Ladies, have I got a time saver for you? Environmentally friendly, too. Yes. Observe! This plastic wrap chokes small children! Ah! Oh. <laughs> this is high-quality stuff, people, made from the very best uh, uh, stuff around! Got a sweet tooth? Get your delicious chocolate-covered jelly beans here! They make great gifts! Ah! Leave me alone, Jonesy! Then go find another location to sell your crappy candy. No way. Mm. Ah. Mm. Ah. Ah. And this is where we keep the scientific calculators. <sighs> Whoa, back off, Jedi boy. I hate to break it to you, but it's never going to happen. Never? Never. Not a one in a million chance? Let me put it in language that you'll understand. There's a better chance that Obi-Wan will join the Sith. <sighs> I see. But I have an even better idea. Better than you and I making out in the life-size model of the Millennium Falcon? Ew. Yes, Caitlin and I are hooking you up with someone. Who's the lucky girl? What are we doing? I thought you were setting me up with Julie. We are, but first, we're giving you a makeover. I, I, I don't know about this. You want Julie to like you, right? Yeah, but I, I think she already... Just think of it as your transformation. We all go through one. It's not like Anakin became the Dark Lord overnight, right? We're just going to make you a little less... you. Who knows? You might even turn out kind of hot. Yeah, and then Julie won't be able to keep her hands off you. All right. You may proceed with the hotification process.
Caitlin. Oh. <gasps> Corporate social climber. I don't like her anymore. It was your idea to hire her. Uh, was not. Was too. <laughs> ah, the Clone Wars have begun. Here's your earpiece. May the Force be with you, Darth. Hi, Darth. You look different. I've got khakis. Leave me alone. I told you, you are not my girlfriend. <laughs> that doesn't mean we can't still go out. Yeah! I can't do this anymore. Truce. Truce. Yo, Jelly Bean Girl, I need to make another purchase. I don't take plastic. I'm out of cash. Then you're out of luck, Copper. This is an IOU. I'm good for it. You show me the cash, I show you the goods. Get it? How about you forget the cash and show me your permit, punk? My permit, eh? Do I need one? Yes. Yes, you do. I'm arresting you for solicitation without a permit. Hand over the merchandise. You can't do that. Is there a problem here, officer? I just want the candy maggots. That will cost you. Hey, come back here with that! You arrest us and I'm dumping it! All of it! No, we can work something out. Uh, no need to do anything rash. I have an idea. You look like a man who could use some cellophane wrap. And I take IOUs. That Lydia is one messed up chick. Hi! <gasps> Wyatt! I had such a great time on our date yesterday. Um, that wasn't me. Dude, now she thinks Wyatt is you. This is for you. I made it in taxidermy class. I got an A. Mm. Darth, how's it going? All I hear are muckly, slobbery sounds. Oh, was it as bad as it sounded? It was worse than when the Republic failed to defeat the Confederacy, leading to the destruction of the Jedi Order as it once was. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to be alone. I brought back some of the rubber beds you left in my hair from your braces. Put your cape back on. I love a man in a cape. Come to me, Wyatt Cookie Poo Poo. Ow! Chill out, chicken girl. <sighs> I didn't know you had an identical twin. We're not twins. I'm black and he's white. <laughs> and you're crazy. Oh my gosh, I'll have to make you another chicken. Wait, um, the Wyatts are allergic to chicken and that guy likes you. Really? He's cute. Okay, bye. Wyatt, wait up for me. So, how things go with Julie? Great, she likes me for my inner beauty and my skills with the lightsaber. Oh, and BTW? You're fired. Fired? You can't fire me just because you got a new girlfriend. Okay, then I'll fire you because you stick at your job. I do not. Where are the positronic calculators? The three amp transmitters? The headphones. <sighs> okay, fair enough. So, where's Julie? Looking good, baby. Looking good. Oh, ugh. only he'd fired me just one second sooner. I can't believe I got fired again. Glad to see I rubbed off on you. I don't think the clones like the new girl very much. Why don't you just beg for your old job back? Beg to work at the khaki barn? Well, it could be worse. No, wait, it really couldn't. Oh.
Listen, Chrissy, Do you I... want your old job back? Um... Please? Well... I'd require a 10% raise, of course. And two more breaks per day. You're hired! Ashley, you're fired. Yay! Nikki's back! I thought you hated me. Well, we did. But then having the Ashley around made us realize something. She hustled, like, all of our sales. You let us get all the commissions. Yeah, you're, like, so useless at sales. That's why we love you. Aw, thanks, girls. Rocking the old job. Very nice. Yep. I kind of missed messing up the sweater vests. Ah! This is for you. Just run, dude! Run! Got any more of those jelly beans? Uh-uh. You got rid of them all? And all my plastic wrap? We're gonna split the prize. Where'd you put it all? Security isn't just a job. It's a way of life. It's a vocation. Like becoming a priest or a heart surgeon. <laughs> oh, you were serious. The point is, you serve a higher power. If you say so. I do say so. You've got to be on guard at all times against the forces of chaos and anarchy. Teenagers! Teenagers are the gum on the shoe of the mall security officer. As of today, they are your enemy! I'm about to show you a list of the mall's most wanted. I want you to learn their faces, their habits, what they eat for breakfast! Aye, aye, sir. This isn't a ship! You will address me as Officer Ron! Or by my code name! Viper. Okay, Mr. Viper. Not Mr. Viper, just Viper. Sorry. I have assigned each of them a code name. Nikki, code name Nose Ring. She's mean, she's tough. She'll kick you when you're down and eat macaroni and cheese on your grave. Wyatt, AKA Coffee Pot. Don't let the floppy, sad puppy look fool you. He can read. Can't everybody? Next. Jen, code name, Jim Sock. She appears to be an average girl. But it's the quiet ones who always surprise you. Who's the fox? Caitlin, code name, Cupcake. Oh, she's got the cutie pie routine down real good. But she's just like the lemonade she serves, full of sugar and lemons. Moving on. And now the hard cases, repeat offenders. These dudes are hardcore criminals. Can we go back to Cupcake? Negative! Concentrate! June, code name, Hang Ten. A clown who takes every opportunity to float authority. But he's just a stooge compared to the chairman of the board over there. Jonesy, AKA Maverick. He's a walking crime wave. After a few years on the job, you'll have the tools you need to take these lollygaggers down. Now, ready for your first bust? Good. Because as of today, we're going on a blitz, soldier. Let's roll. Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends. We like to be together in a place where we belong. I'm 16, starting to find my way. Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today. Thank God I'm on my own for the first time. I'm 16, life is sweet when you're growing up so fast. You gotta make the good times last. Hey, gorgeous. What's up? Drop dead, skis. Man, I love the food court. <laughs> Dude, how long have we been sitting here? Don't know. 31 minutes. You are officially loitering. And get those shoes off my table. <laughs> Hello. Officer Kai! <laughs> Front and center! Now you're all officially on notice. Now that I finally have some backup, I'll be tightening the leash on this mall. Consider yourselves... warned. This blows. 
jumping off the boat? What kind of dumb movie's that? It's about these two rescue workers in Rwanda who meet by chance, flee to freedom, and are then forced by pirates to jump off the luxury uh, cruise ship. Uh, oh, forget it. No, 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 go on. It sounds really stimulating. <sighs> it was the kind of movie Serena and I would like, okay? Wyatt, when are you gonna realize that Serena has moved on? And you should too. What's this for? The mall has a dress code. Yeah, right. Since when? Since... Right now. No facial piercings. What are you, some kind of fascist? I don't know what that is, but it earned you a warning. And who's the little mini you? Shouldn't you be teaching him how to pull his pants up to his chest? <laughs> I cannot believe the deal I got on those pumps. And the bikini. And the cute shorts. You really do have great shopping karma. I think it's because I practice so much. Is this your bag? Huh? We have an unattended bag. Officer Kai, call the bomb disposal unit. The what? But it's just a bikini. I'll have to search it. No way! You can't just search me. I know my rights. Obstructing an officer. Oh, come on. You're kidding me. That makes one for you, too, Jim Suck. What? Sir, aren't you being a little hard? Don't let them get inside your mind, son. That's how they break you. I just put them down for a second to rest. So you were loitering. <laughs> Officer Kai, assistance! Uh, uh. <laughs> Do you have receipts for these? Yes! They are not bombs and they are not stolen! This is harassment. Why don't you find some real criminals? Oh yeah, it's because you're not a real cop. <laughs> <clears throat> Contempt of a security officer, that's a violation of- Oh, just give me the ticket. No riding skateboards on the escalators. I was carrying it, dude. But you were thinking about how good it would be to ride down, huh? <laughs> awesome. Conspiracy to ride a skateboard down the escalator. Gotcha! Oh, man. This rent-a-cop thing is really starting to bug me. Me too. I was not going to let him put his paws all over my new pumps. His partner, on the other hand, is really dreamy. Focus! This situation is totally out of control. The time for rent-a-cops to harass teenagers has come to an end! I could not agree more, dude. You're Definitely, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Oh, maggots! You're having a little party to discuss me, are you? We were having a private conversation. Well, this is a public space, punk. Hey, watch the deck, bro. That's it. You're all going on report for disturbing the peace, illegal use of mall furniture, and just because... I don't like you. You got anything to say about that, bro? I have to go to the bathroom. You maggots have had the run of this place for 20 years. But we're only 16. Quiet! Well, now it's my turn. You called down the thunder, and I'm going to strike like lightning. A uh, technical point? Lightning comes before thunder. Congratulations, bookworm. You're officially on probation. I... Zip it! I'll be watching you. I'm being... Punished for my grasp of meteorology? That's it! We've got to do something about him once and for all! But what? The only way we'll be rid of him is if he gets fired, and that's never going to happen. He's the head security guy. You're right. They'll never fire him, so we're going to force him into early retirement. Here's what we're going to do. I think we can see potential. I like your outfit, Jonesy. Who's your tailor? Hansel from Dusseldorf? This is my new uniform for the Strudel Station, and it just so happens the chicks dig it. Nice outfit, loser. I think we all know who she was talking to. So, have you got it? Push this button, and all of the security alarms in the mall will go off at once. Ah, ah, ah. Not so fast. Do you have what I want? George Lucas's bar mitzvah tape. That dude needs to get out more. Focus, guys. Are we ready to initiate Operation Get Ron Retired? Check. 
totally check. All right, let's make some noise. Look at them. They're like pythons. Yeah, sure. No, wait. They're like cobras. Coil to strike. We've got threat indicators. Every fire alarm in the mall is going off. That's impossible. Unless... I knew it! Officer Kai, you hold down the fort. I've got some teenage maggot butt to kick. Where are they? Hey, Ron! You thought we were badly behaved before? I'm commandeering this vehicle. I know this small inside out! Coming through! was one for the books, but boy, do we have something good planned for tomorrow. Ooh, are we flooding the Gigantoplex or laying sod in the food court? All right, maggots. I'm too old for this. You win, I quit. To a new era of freedom. Together, we will skateboard down the escalators of democracy. We will sip from the giant slurp of justice. We will enjoy the delicious taco of doing things that Ron didn't want us to do. Dudes, lady dudes, this is our Independence Day. an accident. Ah, don't worry about it. <laughs> I love this guy. Come on, I'll buy you a pretzel. <laughs> Kai? Jonesy? Anyone? I had no idea how much better life could be without Ron. You said it. Hi, Wyatt. <gasps> Serena. Oof. Uh, hi. You look good. I know. I, I mean, yeah, thanks. Uh, so do you. Thanks. Did you see that jumping off a boat came out? Yeah, I, uh, I thought about you. You said you wanted to go see it. I thought about you, too. Isn't it great we can think about these things without it being awkward? Yeah, not awkward at all. Well, Chad and I are going to see it tonight, so I'll let you know if it's any good. See you, Wyatt. <sighs> still kind of hard for me. Really? It doesn't show. You obviously still love her. Why are you here? I am drawn to you like a Jedi to the Force, young Padwan. Leave. Okay. I have to let her know I still have feelings for her. Have you been eating stupid sandwiches again? The girl knows how you feel. Trust me. Help! Hey! <sighs> ah! What do you want? Don't come any closer or I'll call mall security. Just a lemonade. Nothing more. Huh? Ron the Rent-A-Cop? Is that you? It's me. You may not have recognized me in my civilian clothing. What happened to you? <sighs> oh, nothing. I've just lost the will to live. I'm not fit for combat. They might as well put me out of my misery right now. No! What about your personal life? Friends? I tried arresting my cat, Mr. Snuffles. But the handcuffs were too big for his little paws. Okay. Well, what do you do for fun? Any hobbies? Lately, I've been staring at the walls quite a bit. 
Okay, I know you're supposed to be our sworn enemy, but I can't stand to see you like this. You need a new job. Who'd hire a washed-up bum like me? <gasps> he seems a bit, um, rough around the edges for Philly and Pink. Just let him try. I think he'll do really well. Good choice, ma'am. That dress is great for so many reasons. It's sleeveless, making it great for grappling in close combat. <sighs> and the lining makes good compression bandages for seeping wounds. Yeah. Get a pair of these, and you can use them as a garrote. You're all set for urban assault duty, soldier. <coughs> What'd I tell you? Don't worry, you'll fit right in. Hi, Nikki. Look who's here. What is Officer Psycho doing here? We've got to help him. He's a wreck. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to file that under not my problem. But we made him lose his job, and apparently he doesn't have much else in his life. No way. I'm not working with him. Ew, who are you? That's not the way we fold the T-shirts. I was <gasps> folding shirts in the jungle when you two were in diapers. But you're right. I shouldn't be folding shirts. You should be. Now! Fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it! I want to see those shirts so tight I could bounce a quarter off of them. Do you get me? Yeah, whatever. Not yeah. Yes, sir. Let's try it again. Do you get me? Sir, yes, sir! That's more like it. Let's see laps around the jeans section now! <laughs> On second thought, leave them with me for a while. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Girls gun, gaga? Yeah, that's not a real film. There's no fights, no stabbing. Try Highway of Guts. Ladies? Huh. Ah, you're back! Jonesy, Ron needs a job. But why here? I tried the khaki barn, but I had to get him out of there. He was planning an amphibious assault against Banana Village. It's Is this bridge to excruciating violence starring Max Fight? You make me wanna puke, you slimy, no good cow licking scum sucker. I'm gonna make you eat every one of those words with a side order of knuckles, you stink monkey. Wow, you sure know your war movies. I should, I've lived them. Sometimes my mom and I, we'd reenact famous battles in the backyard. Well, all right. I guess you could work in the blood and guts section. I'll take it. This can't be happening. It's like dogs making out with cats. I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of this. You guys are the best. So, what are we doing tonight? We? Caitlin mentioned we were going to a movie. I'm looking forward to it. What's this about Ron coming out with us tonight? How are we supposed to scam popcorn? And free drinks? And chicks when he's with us? You guys will be fine. He's not that bad. Wait a minute. You guys? Yeah, I'll be at Sarah's party with Kai. No, you've got to fix this, Caitlin. Tell him no. I'm sorry. He just looks so sad and he has, like, no friends. And his cat won't even let him arrest her. What? Dude, you've got to convince Ron that he doesn't want to hang with us. Me? Come on, guys. After what we did to him, it's just one night. Maybe he's not so bad. I am not spending my Saturday nights with him because you wimped out, and you're better at breaking bad news to people. Fine. But what do I tell him? Just tell him Jude farts a lot. I do not. Jude! <laughs> I don't like these foamy, effeminate, girly drinks. Give it to me black and straight. Can I get you anything else? Another skinny latte chino? <clears throat> With an extra shot. So, what did you want to talk to me about, buddy? Well, I... Uh, uh, well... What's wrong with you, son? Oh, it's just a girl I used to be with. She's moved on, but I haven't. <laughs> nice. Is that the girl? You want me to talk to her? No! Let me talk to her. Yo, cute girl at the counter! <laughs> yeah, you! What is your major malfunction, soldier? He loves you! Huh? So fall in love with him again, right now! Do you hear me? <laughs> Serena, 
You can take me later. See you at the night spot. He's only hanging around us because he has no life. That's it! We have to get him to take his old job back. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I know how. <laughs> What am I looking for again? The main hard drive. What? The one with the most lights. Got it. Done. The virus should upload in the ball mainframe in a few seconds. Wow. That was really something. <laughs> <laughs> That's a level seven alarm situation. I've got to go. But I'm not the law here anymore. You're right. I have a mall to save. Excuse me, I just gotta turn these off. Uh-oh. What's wrong? Lose something? My key ring! The mall security officer's most important tool! Ah! Remain calm, everyone! Ah! Save us! You're the only one who can! Ow! I've got to get to the security office. Let's roll, dude! <laughs> Lost your keys, soldier? We'll talk about this later. Oh, look, here they are. I'm back, baby. <sighs> All seems right in the world again. Yeah, and Ron's not coming to the movies with us tonight. Except Kai lost his job. Don't feel bad, dude. I got fired today, too. No worries, I got a job at Pink and Frilly. Oh, no. You're gonna have to quit. The uniform? Total turn off. Feet off the table! Oh, summer. <laughs> Just uh, kidding. <laughs> this time. <laughs> hey, come back here, punk! Guess everything's back to normal. Well, not everything. We... You call that? So, little bunny dude, you ever heard the one where the turtle is faster than the rabbit? What is the matter with people? No returns till after Christmas. How hard is that? Hey, Jen, how's work going? Christmas shoppers are evil! <sighs> no, this year I will be calm. I bet Coach Halder will be stoked to hear that. Don't mention his name. Whoa, sorry I mentioned Coach <laughs> Halder. <laughs> Do you realize I get a picture in my head every time you say his name? Okay, you've got to chill. You're freaking out my friend here. Oh, where did he get him? Uh, hey! So, this is what it's come to, stealing bunnies. I thought I'd looked evil in the face, but this takes the Christmas cake. I'm taking this poor defenseless creature back to the living manger display. Why is there a bunny in a manger? They couldn't get donkeys. Why doesn't he get a dog like a normal cop? Sup, Jay? Got me a sweet new gig, that's what. Doing what? Since I kicked butt on the Christmas decorating crew, they put me on gift wrapping detail. Hold on, you actually did well at something? Heck yes, check it out. Pretty sweet, huh? You put up that tree? And decorated it? You don't believe me? We, we believe, believe you. you. I gotta get gift wrapping. Aren't you working today? Don't remind me. Cause if you're late, Coach mm -hmm. Halter. <laughs> Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends. We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16, starting to find my way Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet When you're growing up so fast You gotta make the good time
times last I'm 16, 16 Gotta make the good times last My parents are trying to take me to Acapulco for my Christmas present. Wow, that's pretty nice of them. Uh, do you remember my parents? They're like Christmas elves on overdrive. They sing Christmas carols. My mom does nonstop Christmas baking. And my dad ho-ho-hos for the entire month. I'd love to go somewhere hot. Hey, Nikki, it's always sizzling at Shea Jonesy. Note to skin, start crawling. Thanks for calling Gift Girl. How can I help you shop? Yep, I'll have the perfect present for you this afternoon. What's with the gift girl thing? I've started a new business. Say you're a guy and you have no clue what to get your sweetie. You call me and I do the shopping for you. You get paid to shop? Can the world be any more perfect? <sighs> Gotta shop, see you guys later. Wait, you're just gonna close the lemon? That's the great thing about working here. I don't have somebody breathing down my neck all day like you do with that annoying coach Holder. Ah, he's driving me crazy! <laughs> See ya. Gotta fly. Check you later. <laughs> okay, you need some serious chilling out, dude. And I know just who to call. Hey, Jude. What is she Oh, doing? for sure. I've got some totally <gasps> relaxing yoga moves for Jen. She'll be zened out in no oh. time. Mm. What the? Okay, who replaced the titanium batteries with ordinary alkaline ones? That was all they had at the nothing over a dollar store. They're crap. Recatalog all the foreign language documentaries pronto and I may not fire you. You're late. If you're slacking off just because it's Christmas, I'm on to you. I'll set up the holiday movies display. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't have any Christmas movies. Sure we do. We have like six of them. Seven, if you count this German docudrama on Kris Kringle. It's narrated by David Hasselhoff. Uh, no display. Christmas movies suck. But watching Christmas classics is a yearly ritual for lots of people. Getting a colonoscopy is a yearly ritual for lots of people too, but that doesn't mean I want a colonoscopy display in my store. This is such a sweet job. I look like a totally sensitive, creative guy. Chicks love that. Later. Need your boat wrapped, Captain? Um. Ahoy, matey. You have yourself a good day now, you hear? Another satisfied customer? Move along. No loitering in the mall, maggot. This is a gift wrapping table. And you're a gift wrapper? Many would say gifted wrapper. Pretty decent, plus tips. I'll just make a note of that. Mm -hmm. You raise shopping to an Olympic art form. Thanks, I do train a lot. Chrissy, can you give me a week off to go on vacation with my family? Oh, I wish I could, but I don't like you. Well, they can't say I didn't ask. Hello. <gasps> There's our island princess. What are you doing here? I told you I'm not coming. Just let me stay with Jen. Hello, young lady. Excuse me? We need some wild and crazy resort wear. But I need you to make sure my wife doesn't spend all our trip money before we leave. <laughs> <sighs> here we go. Did Nikki tell you we're taking her to Acapulco? Well, actually, we'll be just outside of Acapulco in the town of Costa not matcha. <laughs> you know, you could save a bundle by not taking me, Dad. Now listen, young lady. What's a dad have to do to get his daughter a few days off, hmm? Mm, too bad. Uh, they can't spare me, Dad. It, it's Christmas, remember? <laughs> Just write down what days you want off, Nikki, and they're all yours. Gee, thanks. Star? Hey, Jen. Come in. Okay, first, try the reaching monkey. Huh? Good. Now try the praying mantis. Oh, wow. You're really flexible, Jen. 
Bring it on! I only have a 15-minute break from work! The next position is blowing the tiger's mind. Okay, this is kind of hot. <laughs> what are you doing here, Jude? Staring, mostly. Jude's here as part of your Zen training. Gen Lotus. Coach Halder. Coach Halder? Coach Halder, Coach Halder, Coach Halder, Coach Halder! Wow, you totally stayed calm. I can't believe it! I'm de-stressing! It worked! This is the best Christmas present ever! That was awesome! Hmm, I wonder what else I can do for people that doesn't involve buying stuff. So, Nikki, you planning to stay under the table all day? Cause I could use a foot rub. Just let me know if you see my parents. Coast is clear. I know we have a date tonight, Connor, but work is really busy now. Oh, Jonesy, gotta go. I need these wrapped in 20 minutes. Hold on! If you want these wrapped individually, then you're looking at five to seven hours minimum. Hey! We'll have them done for you in 20. We will? Roger that. Okay, then. How come you're in on my action? Security may look heroic, glamorous even, but the pay is noticeably underwhelming. And I've got Christmas presents to buy. Now, wrap. And I'm saying that your 15% off coupon has expired, ma'am. Masterson, the customer is always right. So honor that coupon. You got that, Missy? <sighs> Just a sec. I need one more minute in dragon pose. <gasps> <gasps> nice work. And kind of hot. Is that all you want? Tape? I'm making my own Christmas presents this year. I tried to make the tape too, but it's a little trickier than it sounds. This is for you, dude. It's a leather DVD holder for your belt. That is the dumbest thing I ever heard of. Whoa, that was harsh. I can't believe you had a copy of Winter Pudding. A Christmas classic? Christmas classic. Bah! Yeah, girl, how can I help? Connor, I told you I need to keep my phone free for customers. Don't forget the pre-Christmas get-together tomorrow. I won't. Get yeah, girl, Connor, stop calling me! Why don't you come to our pre-Christmas party? Yeah! No! Get back to work. Connor, come on. We do so see each other. Sometimes. <gasps> You're breaking up with me? Hello? Connor? I can't believe this is happening. This is Gift Girl. How can I help you shop? Uh, uh, I don't know. I can't decide. I mean, what difference does it make? Are you okay? <gasps> no, I'm not okay. This should be a no-brainer, but I just don't care. Oh my gosh, I think I've lost my will to shop. Who's your daddy? Where did you get those bells? That's classified. It takes a man to know how to use them. Hey, Jonesy, I have your Christmas present for you, bro. All right. Thanks, Jude. <laughs> Made it myself? It's a mistletoe hat. Whenever you wear it and you turn near a girl, the mistletoe will be right over your heads. She has to kiss you. This is the best gift I ever got, dude. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Watch where you're pointing that thing, son. I think I need some space. Yeah, you go. Good idea. I, uh, guess I'll go too. I'm worried about Caitlin. She hasn't even opened the lemon today. Bummer. I have a Christmas present to give her. It's a personal shopping transportation device. It looks like your old skateboard. Not just my old skateboard. 
My old Alex Chalmers skateboard. We saw some good times, buddy. I'm gonna try her again. Caitlin, what are you doing? I can't shop! Okay, okay, calm down. What do you mean you can't shop? I've lost my retail mojo. <gasps> Connor broke up with me. Who's Connor? My boyfriend. When did you get a boyfriend? I've been too busy shopping to introduce him to you. Oh, this is the first time shopping has ever caused a breakup. Come on, you've got to get your mind off this. What are you doing? Mulling spices. They give the store a Christmas vibe. Good, because I've decided we're going to be open Christmas Day. What? Yeah, you were right. People really eat up this holiday crap. Be in early to serve up more of that Christmas vibe. You look like Santa just brought you a bag of barf. This is just not right. Where is your heart? Your holiday spirit! Bah humbug. <laughs> I baked some Christmas cookies. We've got shortbread Uzis, chocolate grenades, and gingerbread security man. I'll take a uh, gingerbread security man. Hmm. Come on, you have to help me think up a way I can bail on my folks. <gasps> it's Connor! Huh? That's him! That's Connor! The one with the antlers? He said he had a part-time job. I didn't know it was that bad. Caitlin, I know it'll take some time, but you'll get over him eventually. How could he wear antlers? This coming from someone who wears a lemon hat to work? I used to think he was so hot, and now he's just antler guy. Guys all over this mall are counting on me to find the perfect present. Am I going to tell them I didn't find it because of some goof in an antler hat? Uh, no. You bet I won't. Oh, thank you for helping me get over him, Nikki. You're the best. No problem. Gift Girl has work to do, and the first person I'm helping is you. <gasps> a spray on tanning store? What did you say you're getting your parents for Christmas? A book on art? Nuh-uh. New plan. You're going with them to Acapulco. No way. Listen to me. Your parents are planning this trip for you. You can't stay behind. You'll have a crappy time and you'll break their hearts. Sometimes accepting a gift is the same as giving a gift. Huh, that actually makes sense. Now get in there, girlfriend, and get sprayed so you don't blind everyone on the beach. Sergeant, you get your to the ridge and you hold that position until I... Uh, Wayne? Uh, we're going on a break. Uh, 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 so much Hey! Uh, who and what are you? I am the ghost of Christmas past. Your past. And I want to show you something. <laughs> That's me! I used to watch movies all day long as a kid. You peed your pants during that movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't want to miss anything, so I'd never go to the bathroom. Did that boy want to grow up to be mean and bossy? No. No, he didn't. Two other spirits will visit you. Come over here, Wayne. Are you... The ghost of Christmas present. Look. That's me. Look at you today. You may not pee your pants, but you're a mean, crusty, bossy, sarcastic jerk of a boss who makes us work on Christmas. Hey, are you here to teach me a lesson or insult me, buddy? Sorry. What you need to learn about is the real meaning of Christmas. Wait, wait! Dude! Dude! Are you... The ghost of Christmas yet to come? Totally. Behold! Why is everything red? 
Because in the future, we'll all be living on Mars, dude. What has that got to do with what I have to learn about Christmas? Not much, I guess. It just blows me away that one day we'll all be living on Mars. Oh, is that it? Yeah! No, wait! There's something about the real meaning of Christmas. Okay, what is it? You must learn to be a nicer person before it's too late. What do you mean by that? Before, like, before I'm dead? Dude, you don't have to get all heavy on me. I got a slide. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, man. I hope it's not too late. <gasps> what happened? What? Don't I look golden brown? You only tanned half your body. What? Nikki, you were supposed to turn around halfway through. Well, nobody told me that. Oh, I have to go back and get done again. What time are your parents picking you up? Three. It's three now. What? You have to go. But I'm only half tanned. You'll be fine. When you get to the beach, lay white side up. Ah! Oops. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> what day is it? Why, it's Christmas Eve. Huh. The spirits did it all in one power nap. Of course they did. They can do anything. Do you know the grocery store at the end of the mall? Do you know the big bag of chips in the window? Well, go get it for me, and there'll be a 50% off coupon for underground video with your name on it. <laughs> it actually feels good to be nice. Who knew? Your sales are way down this week, Matheson. With numbers like this, you'll be laid off in January. <gasps> there you are. OK, I need a ski parka, a set of snowshoes, a snowboard, three toques. <gasps> are you serious? What for? A client just got married and has to buy presents for all his female in-laws. And there's lots, so let's move. Yeah, well, looks like you came through in the clutch there. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Nikki. You know what? I've decided I don't care what anyone thinks. I'm on vacation. Hit it, Dad. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. We'll miss you. Merry Christmas, guys. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh, bite me, Dracula. Where's your holiday spirit? I love Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's better to give than to receive. Is this a trap? I've learned the real meaning of Christmas, and I'm going to spread the Christmas cheer. <laughs> OK, that was creepy. But I'll take creepy Christmas Wayne over the usual Wayne any day. I made an ornament for the tree. Jude, that's beautiful. It's a mandala representing the eternal circle of friendship. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Ah! Jonesy, wasn't it your job to make sure the tree was secured properly? The mall must have shifted. Well, at least it was good no one was under the tree when it fell. Ouchie. Ah. Ow. Well, at least not a lot of people. Help! Help. <laughs> <laughs>